I think when you operate in the conventional system, there are all sorts of demands on you as a professional uh, that limit your ability to move into that role as a healer. Even when we do the right thing and we offer the right therapy and the right patient at the right time, we still have unintended consequences. We still have patients dying every day as a result of what we call iatrogenic disease, and that is a, a direct impact of the care that we provide that leads to that patient's demise. And it's several plane loads of patients every day. If that was on the news, I think the public would be up in arms. Insurance itself, I think we all uh, suffer from the demands of what insurance has placed on us as providers. Uh, just to make ends meet, you have to see 40 to 60 patients a day, and that rate alone uh, leads to burnout, um, both on the practitioner side, but also it, it, it is a, um, a recipe for disaster on the patient side. Even though you're sort of fulfilling guidelines, insurance companies are happy and payers are happy, uh, patients aren't improving in terms of their health, and you feel like you're sacrificing your own health as a provider, that the amount of time that you're spending, all of the additional work that you have to do at the end of the day, and the diminishing returns uh, in terms of satisfaction as well as income, you know, uh, for me, becomes an untenable situation. not being able to step outside the box when I know that in order to help the individual or the patient, I needed to step outside the box. I think everybody's sort of upset with the um, state, of, state of affairs. And what I found, especially in my traditional practice, is that as you quickly are moving through your patient day, you're checking the boxes of what's the right thing to do, uh, but you never see anybody getting better. I think we've had many years to see that simply patching with different pharmaceutical drugs, a single drug, a single disease, uh, doesn't work very well. What is needed in our healthcare system is a change. And that change is going to have to be to treat patients holistically and preventatively and to optimize health as our patients are living longer and developing degenerative disorders. We need to prevent those. As a physician, you're trained in some ways to be a scientist, but at the end of the day, you have to care for people. And we've got to realize that disease management is no longer the way to practice medicine. The future of medicine uh, is clearly heading towards a more integrative or comprehensive approach. You want to help the patient. That's really what it's all about. You know, the future of medicine is bright. I think it's all about personalization and really understanding what the individual needs. Medical professionals and the way that we offer care to patients, we have to find a model that is safer and more effective and improves the vitality and health of our patients and not just manage disease. I think the model is broken and we need to find a better way of doing business.